Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of War on the Sea. I'm just going to check here real quick and listen to see. Make sure sound's coming through. Hope everyone's uh, doing well. Yep, it is. Very good. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. Had a good weekend. And we're plodding into, uh, well, we're facing down Tuesday as I record this. So welcome aboard. If you're new to the channel, appreciate you being here. Say hello in the chat. Chat is open. Check in with your local airport code, uh, as we do on the channel. And uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. Hundreds of hours of videos available for your entertainment. On the channel here, you can also follow us on Twitch at A underscore train underscore games. On Discord at A train space games, where you can see my entire Steam library. Make game requests, discuss this game and others, and uh, see my Tower 3D Pro library. Also, donations are greatly appreciated at paypal.me slash a train games we appreciate your support and just being here and part of the fun and frivolity oh you know what i just kicked on gameplay and i don't have the game loaded at the second because it wouldn't switch over to it it was weird i don't know but we'll correct that here momentarily as we stare at a black screen and there it is poof just like that so i don't know why i couldn't alt tab out of it that was weird but here we are all right so let's kick back into our campaign load Solomon's 03 beta, continue, and let's evaluate the situation where we are at. Now, this um, this build has gone live, so it's now available on the regular servers. You don't have to be on the beta, and thus you will have the larger carrier air wings available. Also, a uh, gameplay update to how they're uh, working it. So if you're about to launch off a strike and you want to put a fighter escort with it, I think you launch the fighters first. And then you launch the strike aircraft, and there will be no delay between the two. Okay? So I think they made that, yeah, air, quotes, air quotes, correction. But that's actually how it was done. You, you launch the lighter aircraft, which was the fighters first. Because in World War II, you didn't have catapults, at least initially, not until the uh, Essex class came along, I believe. Uh, you didn't have catapults initially. So they would spot all the planes aft on the flight deck. Start warming up the engines. The heaviest aircraft were at the back. Those were usually the bo uh, the bombers, uh, the torpedo bombers maybe. And then you had the uh, the dive bombers. And then you had the fighters. So the fighters took off first. They used the shortest amount of flight deck. Then the other aircraft had the longest runs to get up to uh, get up to speed and get off. Um, so the fighters would take off, circle overhead. The other strike aircraft start. Everybody would start circling overhead, and then they'd start heading off to their uh, destination. All right. So we are fighting over Guadalcanal at present we have i don't know that's what 85 percent 80 to 9 almost 90 percent that's 50 that'd be 75 so that's about 85 percent control of the uh, of the island and we still have task ta transport group yoke heading that direction which has two destroyers excuse me uh 500 men each um fuel engineers and supplies to uh land on guadalcanal to reinforce us there and start building Henderson Field, all right. So that's uh, that's the point of that exercise. Uh, this we've been through a few days. Oh gosh, this starts on seven August and we're on the tenth August. I say we've been through a few days. It's only three. I mean, we're not even three full days in because it starts at noon. But we still, after a day or two, because we landed on like the second day, we've still only lost seven of the initial twenty seven hundred fifty men that were put ashore and used. 100 and what was that 137 of the supplies so i don't know how that maths out but that's how it maths out so all right um what we have going on here also is transport group x-ray is uh, heading back to espirito santo uh meanwhile meanwhile at new hebrides we have task force 17 uss hornet is joining the fray. She is escorted by uh, Pensacola class heavy cruiser San Diego, which is an Atlanta class light cruiser, and uh, two destroyers, both Sims class. Uh, we spent a little extra on that, which but this is an accurate uh, depiction of her uh, part of her task force from the Battle of Santa Cruz. So she brings uh, another um, seventy-two aircraft to the fray. All right. And meanwhile, Enterprise Task Force 16 is operating here off of Guadalcanal. Uh, her numbers have been depleted. Her air wing over a series of operations 
Um, but we have um, her running with the uh, Cruiser Helena, which is an Atlanta class uh, light cruiser, and um, f the uh, frigates Farragut and Dale. They're making up her task force. We will uh, augment this. I'd like to augment it with a heavy cruiser eventually, and we'll get there, uh, especially if we sank some of these suckers right here. But um, then we have task group 61.2. Uh, actually, task group 61 is, task force 61 is here. This is our heavy cruiser group with uh, Vincennes in Chicago, uh, the light cruiser San Juan, and then the cruisers Maury and, and Reed. Uh, we split off uh, Smith and Porter. Uh, to act as a anti-submarine warfare group. Uh, we did find a, a submarine in the area, and we did finally sink it. Um, I believe we got that sucker. Yes, we finally got him after like five tries with aircraft. We got uh, rocket-armed Avengers, finally smacked that ass. Uh, we Originally, these guys were attached to transport group uh, X-Ray, and we split them off. So X-Ray is heading back to port, and has the Ralph Talbot escorting the three freighters, which will go reload and then head back up this direction. Um, we may do something to put, we've got, we still have uh, 250 or 500 troops on Rennell Island with no supplies. We need to send them some supplies, I suppose. Uh, we could send just, you know, 250 troops and some supplies to Santa Cruz. We could do the same to Malaita. And then we're gonna need to put on the Florida Islands. Now, those are all the things we are supposed to capture uh, in the requirements here, right? Port Moresby, Nolney Bay, Rental Island, Santa Cruz, Malaita. Um, yeah. Oh, and then uh, take control of Guadalcanal. Uh, see, it says maintain control of. We don't have Rental Island, Santa Cruz, or Malaita to start with, but they are, they're not captured by anyone. So you just got to put a couple hundred troops on shore, I guess with some supplies would be a good idea. Guadalcanal is the key. It's the linchpin. Florida Islands is where... Um, Tulagi Naval Base will be built by the U.S. Navy, by the CBs and whatever. Um, but also we have a uh, task group Nancy, which is a destroyer and two, actually two destroyers, uh, each with 250 troops on board. So it's 500 troops and 2,000 supplies, and they are en route to Milne Bay to reinforce it uh, from 500 to 1,000 troops, and they'll have 3,000 supplies. Eventually we may send some uh, engineers and fuel over there uh, try to upgrade it to a level 2 airfield, which would then give us the ability to fly Avengers out in an arc about like this. Okay? So, cool stuff. Uh, port Moresby is a 4-3, level 4 port, level 3 airfield. Um, so, uh, I don't see any reason to upgrade that, although she only has 1,000 troops. I mean, we could try sending some troops there eventually as well. The key is to capture Guadalcanal and get Henderson Field up and running. Then we might look at starting put in some picket locations up in here uh, with the Russell Island, Santa Isabel, New Georgia, and working our way up. Uh, the nearest threat is the Shortland Islands. It is a Japanese uh, base. It's a level two port and a level two airfield, which means they have uh, zero fighters and um, they have bombers there as well, light bombers. Uh, they have the same thing at Buka, Bougainville. They have nothing. So um, I'd love to get up to Vela La Vela which is eventually where uh, Black Sheep Squadron is based, but we don't have Corsairs at the time, so, uh, in the game. So, you know, wouldn't be realistic. All right, the situation in the slot is this. We have sunk a whole, one whole uh, group like this, which is your typical spam cruiser group, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and two destroyers. Uh, I think we've got one light cruiser still out here somewhere. Oh, uh, they're there somewhere. That may be it. Uh, USS Trout's heading that direction. USS Triton's drifting down. USS Gar is uh, kind of chilling right now. We had initially seen the second group coming this way. Then they backed up, and apparently they feigned and came back down here. I sent a whole bunch of assets, air assets up here to look for them, and uh, to no avail. And here they are now. So we have currently this Dauntless group coming in. This Avenger group is uh, dinking around. This uh, Dauntless group is heading out. This Kingfisher is going to keep an eye on these guys. We have to uh, play this out till 0800, I think, before we can uh, start conducting and engaging this group. We've already sank one of the light cruisers. Um, I'm just trying to remember what we have down in here. Let me go up here and look at the enemy losses, and maybe this will help clue us in. 
uh, merchant ship Kuma light cruiser. I think this was the light cruiser from that second group. This was that bitch B-1 submarine that we sank over here right off of uh, Florida Islands. Uh, transports, Takao heavy cruisers were the two, and then the light cruiser, Kagero Hatsuharu. I think those are the ones that made up the first group we sank in the slot. And so, yeah, that's I think that's accurate. So, that said, Trout's coming in, Triton is coming down, and we're going to add Triton's course and get them over this way. We're just trying to create a backdoor block here with guard, make sure that uh, nothing kind of sneaks in behind us. This is not really ideal submarine operating uh, position, but uh, as I was just watching, uh, reading today about the uh, se it was second naval battle of Guadalcanal, or maybe it was the first one. Gosh, we lost a, a bunch of ships on this one, too. Where a, the, a bunch of destroyers and, like, a cruiser. The cruiser Atlanta were sunk. But one of them, uh, there was a Japanese submarine operating here between Florida Island and Guadalcanal that uh, got to a couple of our ships and jacked them up. They hit USS Portland with a torpedo uh, and things like that. All right, so these guys are heading back to Enterprise. These guys are heading out. These guys should be about to land. That's an ASW patrol. And then Enterprise... Let's see what she's got aboard right now. Well, we can't launch for 0.2 hours, and we're not going to be able to launch for more than that because of the simple fact that um, she's about to recover aircraft, so it's going to take a minute to time, turn those around. All right, let's go ahead and start moving along here. Enterprise ready to launch aircraft, except for the fact that she just recovered aircraft. Now she's ready. Okay. So where is Task Force 61 2 going? They are cruising... I'm going to actually keep them in this spot right here. Now, do we have any float planes available? We got one there. Okay, that's good news. Um, another thing we're doing, we've learned our B-17s, if we do not put any bombs on them, are very effective uh, long-range scouts. Okay, was there anything else I was going to do with Task Force 17? Hmm. Oh, they've got a course set in, so no. No, they're heading out. Okay, very good. Lieutenant Thumper, hey, you guys! That's right. Flashback to the old electric company. Back in the day. All right, let's go ahead and set up uh, a Wildcat patrol. Let's move this out of the way so we can see. We're going to do our typical 200 miles north-ish. And then out over here to 337-ish. That'll do. We have Avengers out. Just looking for targets of opportunity with high explosive bombs. And then we have Wildcats we're sending singularly out of Milne Bay. Uh right up this way to try to catch anything, just catch eyes on anything coming out of a ball. Now, one thing we do know, somewhere out here there's a three destroyer group for the IJN. We detected them early on. We have no idea where they are, but they're out there. Um, where are you going looking, and where are you going? I'm trying to think. I think there's another submarine out there that we need to, need to go blast. We are getting low on Avengers, unfortunately. Now, wait, who, who are these guys? Okay, they're coming out of uh, New Hebrides, out of uh, Rainbow Bay. So, we are going to launch these two Avengers with rockets, ASW patrol. We'll put, out, put them out about 75 miles, kind of give them a little zigzag sort of course here. 150 and 160 I'll do. I'll give them 200 miles range. If we see anything, we will handle it. All right, she's maneuvering. This Kingfisher, I think, is still looking or just keeping an eye out for stuff down here. That's off Helena. This is one off of Helena. This one's off Vincennes. Okay, so Helena should have her birds back aboard. There we go. That's good. I think we lost one of them to zeros. 
Um, oh, they are not. Avengers are awesome. Dev we do have Devastators. Well, maybe we don't have Devastators yet. We have the Dauntlesses. The Devastators... Do the Devastators follow up the Dauntless? I'm trying to remember. Okay. Let's, um... Put this guy out on kind of an ASW patrol. There you go. Circle the group. All right. And moving on. Can't, oh Jesus Christ! Are you serious right here? Which which king? Are we talking about this Kingfisher? Oh damn it, Nor. He's got sixty three miles left. Okay, course. All right, guys, let's go tactical to practical here and uh, engage these bastards. All right, here we go. Now, we're only showing four. Huh. Why are we only showing four? Okay. All right. Did we pop one of the destroyers too? Or is this the second group? I don't know. I'm confused. All right. Because the, the thing said there were five. Uh, let's get some IDs on these guys real quick. We're going to select the filter thingy to go Japan, go ships, CA, heavy cruiser. I think this is a Takao. If I'm not mistaken. It could be the Tone. A tone. Nope, it's not. It has four turrets up front. It's not Mogami. It's the Takao class. No, it's not. It's a Miyoko class. It has three turrets up front, one facing aft. The key to this design is that you could rotate all three turrets to one side and then rotate them to the other side with this high, uh, low, high, low setup. Now, it makes this guy kind of vulnerable sitting up where it is and certainly raises the uh, center of gravity on the ship, but it allows that rotation uh, to uh, you know engage targets on either side of the ship, I think, a little quicker. Uh, by this third turret swinging aft around. Um, and that allows you to make it more compact. Now, in theory, you could put more armor built for the Citadel in this, you know, because you, you have these guys relatively close together. So that's at least the way I see it. All right, so this is a Miyoko class, two turrets aft. Yep, check. This may be that other group. Uh, this looks like a... This is a light cruiser. It's not a Nagara. It's not a... It's a Tenryu. Yeah. The first one that comes up. Because the narrow third stack, fat two, two stacks, six whale boats, torpedoes fore and after that. But, but Tenryu. Okay. Uh, this one here will be a Nagara or a um, Kuma class. We'll select Kuma class. It'll correct us if we need to. And this destroyer is a... Atsuharu? Sea State sounds up. Atsuharu class, I believe. That's what we have. No, it is not, because the two guns are both aft facing. That's uh, Shiratsu. There we go. Nasashio. All right, very good. So, we have Avengers. 
And we're going to assemble. We have Dauntlesses and we have the Kingfisher. Let's keep the Kingfisher in play. Where is he? Right here. Okay, so we're going to steer him on a course. we got to get these guys before they try to leave the combat zone. So you're going to fly down here, and then you're just going to buzz along here-ish. And as far as your speed and stuff, go ahead and kick it up to 124 knots, or, yeah. And climb her on up to a mile. There we go. Cool. All right, now. Our Dauntless group is in the ballpark. I want the Dauntlesses to go after the lighter ships. Um, Avenger 5, I want you to take your group. You guys are going to hit the deck. Take it down to 500 feet. Take it up to 200. Take it up to full song. And go this way, this way, this way. And then we're going to execute a pincers movement here. Meanwhile, Avenger Group 1, Avenger 1, you guys are going to take it down to the deck. And just accelerate to 180. So these, those guys will have a 50 knot speed advantage because you've got a shorter distance to go. You're going to stay on course here. And then we will uh, a little bit further to here. And then we're going to come in. Like so. Chances are these guys will see us and they're going to take evasive action. We'll deal with that accordingly. Dauntless group. You guys are going to stay at altitude. Um, I'm going to have you kind of come in and I think circle right about here. Kind of fly a racetrack pattern. And we will evaluate what we need to do with you based on how the torpedo strikes go. We'll probably need you to hit the Hatsuharu at a minimum. But we may have you go after the light cruisers as well. Hatsu, I mean, no, I'm sorry, that's not the Hatsuharu. It's the um, Asashio. I don't think the Asashio has dual purpose guns, though. No, it does not. The Japanese destroyers tend to lack radar. No radar. And they lack dual purpose guns, the Americans uh, have. Okay, so there's an advantage for us, for the good guys. All right, so again, Dauntless Group, you guys are just throttle back and just relax. Cool. All right, guys, let's get it on. Go back up here to Avenger 1 as those guys die for the deck. All right, and there's our visual. Yeah, we're going to try to do a little hammer, hammer and anvil action on these guys. I'd like to take out the, uh, what is that, the, the Miyoko and the Tenryu. And we can dive. I mean, if we leave them one light cruiser, psh, not terribly fussed about one light cruiser. I want to eliminate the threat to our submarines operating in the area. And the Miyoko class, I believe, has depth charges on board. That may be the Mogami I'm thinking of. Yeah, you know, it's not a bad idea. We can, we, we can do that. You know what? So let's, let's do that. Brake. Full power. Come on in. Water's warm. Come in astern. We're going to start doling out targets here in just a minute. Let's get back on Avenger 1 here. I just want to see where we stand. All right, those guys need to pick up the pace just a little bit. So, um, is anybody maneuvering yet? No, they are not maneuvering yet. So, what we want to look at is Avenger 1. We're going to target the Miyoko for now. Okay, they're going 22 knots. Man. I 
Okay. I'm going to, I think I'm going to split them up, but just so I can put them in line with each other. I, I don't like, with the Vic formation, the torpedoes tend to get spread and maybe three, you know, two or three may only hit. One tends to miss. Um, and I either want to put them in line ahead formation or um, Vic formation. Put one pair, then the other pair right behind them. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just go with what we got here. All right, these guys really need to bring the the throttles back. But they're going to target these guys are going to target the Miyoko. And now we're actually going to have them pull a, uh, a turn. Have them pull a quick loopy loop. There. I think that will stall them just enough if I pick their speed back up to uh, catch the Miyoko. Uh, I don't know, but the game automatically sets that up. All right, so Avenger 5, let's just check his pathing. Okay, so it looks good. We're going to add to this to get him coming in this direction. That may be too much, actually. Let me break that and do this instead. I think with the speed they're running right now, we'll be good. And go. Oh, yeah, you know what? I need to throw all them back. Avenger 1 is going to have to pick up the pace because these guys are turning final. Okay, let's start setting out the assignments here because we're closing in to 10,000 yards. Avenger 1, break... You guys are going to turn in now. Make the run. Uh, meanwhile, the Dauntless is coming in. Dauntless group is coming in. I want to, uh, I think, split the Dauntless group. Do I? Two for the Asashio and two for the Kuma. Um... No, let's just pound them. You guys target Asashio. And uh, execute that attack. Avenger 1, you guys are targeted. Avenger 5, you guys are going to target the Tenryu. And go. And let's go ahead and put the commands in. Victor, Victor, Victor. All right, Avenger 5 is going to come in first, so we're going to track them. We can go ahead and set the Avengers. You can go ahead and set this stuff, and then we want to make sure they depart to the southwest after they perform their drop. One's down. Shit. They're getting shot to shit. Avenger group two. We had a dud. It sounded like we had a hit. We had a dud. Okay, Miyoko is turning, it looks like. Uh, we had a dud, that's for sure. Okay, Avenger group one. All right, come on, boys, push it, 
Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Shit, they're going to miss. I don't know if they dropped their torps. They did not. What the fuck? Guys, come on. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Let's try it again. Now the Dauntlesses are coming in. Come on, guys. Plaster that ass. Good hit. Good hit. All right, get out of there, guys. Okay, we're back on Avenger 1. We have to reconduct this attack. God damn it. All right, well, you didn't drop your torps, so... Now we're in a bad position. I don't think we did shit. Tenryu got hit by a dud torpedo. This attack has been a complete flop. I don't think we hit the damn destroyer. I must be down to my shitty pilots. These guys look like they're burning. He got hit by a bomb. Tenryu looks like it's fine. See, that's why I don't like flying them in in four-plane Vix. That, to me, is just problematic at best. All right. Back to Avenger 1. We're going after the Miyoko here. Break. Take it down to 500 feet. 500. Jesus. Come right. Come up this way. Well, one of them's smoking at least. I was hunting the uh, the USS Nautilus. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, and that was the non-nuclear. That was the predecessor to the nuclear-powered Nautilus. The Nautilus had a front row seat for all that was going on. All right, Dauntless. Y'all can get on out of here. Head home. All right, boys, let's try this again. Shit, we're not even on the right line now. They keep turning. Start picking a flak fire here. But the the fact that the destroyer doesn't have dual purpose guns helps us in that we're not dealing with um, you know flak guns. We'll have to deal with machine guns but not flak. So we're down another Avenger, which sucks, which is good that Hornet's on its way out. Jesus. By the time we get there, we may have to cut to this angle. Should start picking up some flack here. Probably going to lose one or two more of these guys. They're already hit because some klutz didn't, you know, I, I hit the victor button, but then I told them to break, and they broke off the attack. So...
All right, standing by. All right, boys, make that turn in. Damn it, they have corrected again. This looks pretty good. Torpedoes in the water. Two down. Yep, our Avengers are taking. There's a, a good hit. Sound well, no, those were the planes hitting the water. There's one. There's two. And number three. Son of a bitch. Two of them passed right underneath her. She's gonna take a pretty good list to port or to starboard over that. All right, guys. Oh, oh, are we going to get lucky here? Could we Could we possibly get lucky? Could we just get a little lucky? Oh, we might get a little lucky. We might get a little lucky. Surprise! Oh, ain't that a bitch. Did we ding up your nice little shippy ship? Oh, the other one just missed him on the bow. Well, okay. That was good. That was a good hit. Torpedo McTor McTorpedo face. <laughs> All right, these guys, um, yeah. All right, let's see what our Kingfisher's doing. So Avengers 1, Avengers, yeah, you guys are set to get out of the area. So you all form up and. Head back to Enterprise. That's all you can do now. Uh, we're just going to fly our Kingfisher, stay in eyesight. Um, we're going to take this one and just monitor. I don't see sinking any of these guys, and that was just a total bust of a mission. Jesus, we lost three Avengers for naught. Our Avengers are just... I don't know if they did some nerfing on the... Um, Torpedoes or what they did now. Okay, burn, baby. She's listing to starboard and burning. Okay, she was. She was burning topside. She's still burning topside. This sucker now is seems to be burning more than he was. They probably he's flooding in the bowels. And then this guy, he's kind of struggling. He may have some flooding issues too. So he dinged up everyone but the Kuma. And that was by design. I mean, I I didn't really have any reason to. Alright, this guy's not burning on the deck anymore. He's burning internally. Um, oh, he is burning on the deck. That's good. Torp McFlood it. Yeah, that's it. Dauntless is out of the area. This guy is looking a little more interesting here. I, I, This guy has enough damage control. I think he'll handle it. But this guy took one on the chin. Um, those forward magazines, I'd be nice if one of them blew up. This is bullshit, though. You ain't gonna go no 27 knots after just being hit by a torpedo. And Miyoko's doing 23 knots after being hit by two torpedoes. Get the F out of here. Your ass is going to be flooding like a bitch. Hmm. Well, Sashio... Kind of piddling around a little bit. I'd like to see some secondary explosions. That'd be pretty sweet. I don't think we're going to see them here. I think we're going to see them over here.
yeah, with our depleted air wing, this, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, they got that under control quickly. That's, that's disappointing. Now, a torpedo strike at the bow. This guy's got the superstructure up there, very, you know, at the front, where typically you see the superstructure along the center of the ship. But this is an older uh, light cruiser designed for the IJN. Oh, no. Get the marshmallows. Um, a torpedo strike at the bow, in a lot of cases, would literally rip the bow off the ship. It would hole it, and then, I mean, the damage caused... And I, I mentioned that in one of my posts on the uh, board. Hey, Lieutenant Thumper, have a good night. Appreciate you being here. Um, was that it'd be really cool if they'd have, you know, a situation where you may have bulkheads and stuff, and they have, you know, really strong bulkheads across this section, but this whole front may rip away from the ship. At least when it's sinking, it should. All right, looks like they got the fires under control here. Yeah, but she's still listing the starboard. I don't want to trust it. That's she's not going to be a problem. This this could be this is going to be worth watching. But let me kick it in the ass here a little bit. Come on, a secondary explosion would be swell, like those torpedoes cooking off or forward magazine or something. That'd be great. Where's our kingfisher cut? I still got fires burning, burning internally. Still some flooding. All right, all the aircraft have left the engagement area except the Kingfisher. He's just keeping an eye out. Fire! <laughs> fire, fire! Do, 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 Okay, they got the fire under control. So that sucks a big one. All right, let's uh, let's get this out of here. Moderate damage to Miyoko, the Tenryu, none to the Kuma, and minor damage to the Asashio. Okay, that was a tough loss. Tough loss. I see why that says two destroyers. I'm confused. Unless there was a second group in the area. Of course. Oh wait, nope. Return to base. Damn it. Turn the base. Turn the base. Enterprise, what do you have on board? I'm going to put up these um, Wildcats as a combat air patrol. Now they're up. We're going to launch all of the Domuses. So there you go. That's that's how it works. All right, so we're going 0. 0.6. Point 0.8. One hour coming in. Coming to get you. Coming to get you. Spitting out lyrics, homie, I wet you. All right. Um, question is, which one of these groups is this? 59 miles, 62 miles. You know, I don't want you farting around. I just want you to watch this group. I want you to catch them and get engaged with them. Vincennes, get another bird ready. You do. Send you up. And what about Chicago? Chicago should have a bird available, I think. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> They're going to go searching up north. Three fifty-ish. That'll do. Okay. Meanwhile, 
back down at Rainbow Bay, we're going to send another B-17 out unarmed. 869 miles course. That's a long ass way. Search that area. Okay, and they're moving along, they're moving along, let's get moving. Wildcat encounter. Ah, hello. Enterprise, course, 0.4 hours. It's okay, go. Uh, ignore. You, um, they're from the Enterprise, so we're just going to have you hover. Well, you only got 11 miles left on your flight anyway, so you do what you do. This guy ain't got much range left either. Maybe we can get him on. Uh, this guy's flying his loop. This guy's returning to Helena. This guy's heading that way to Vincent's, which means Helena's got another bird, I think. No, it does not, because, again, one got shot down. That's part of the reason why we need to get these guys back into a port, uh, so Helena can pick her up another kingfisher. And uh, that'll give us a little more spotting ability. Ability. All right. So we want to get this Avenger in on this submarine, El Quico. Oh, see, there we, uh-huh. This is the second group. This is the first group. This is the one we just hit. And that's the one we're going to hit again. Because we can. Trout, Triton. These guys are trying to get down here and get at these guys. I do not want to put my two destroyers in the line of fire. I just want them to pr patrol. Make sure there's no submarines. I mean, we've got escorts for this uh, task group yoke. we got two destroyers capable of saving them from uh, submarines. But trout. All right, boys, let's do this. All right, here we go. This is the aforementioned Miyoko, which we hit with a couple torpedoes on our port side. All right, and then we have a Tenryu over here which we know is also suffering. These guys are still plodding along at full speed, which is redonkulous. We're calling this a Kuma class. And we have, an, a, um, what did we say this guy was, an Asashio? Yeah, Asashio. All right, and he's been dinged up. The Kuma's the, hello? I screwed that up. That's the Asashio. This is the Akuma, Akuma Matata. Okay, cool. All right, so the Dauntless groups. Group one, where are we here? Sashio is on the far side. This is not the way I want to do this. So, all right. Um, all 
have you guys climb to 3400 you're going to arc around like this and you're going to target the asasio okay group the second group is going to descend to 3200 accelerate make a right turn and go after Miyoko and group one is going to cruise for a minute and target the Tenryu Okay, so group five, you guys are targeting the Miyoko. All right, everybody got the plan? We all good? I got any other airplanes in the area? No. All right, execute. How's everyone doing this evening? Kind of quiet there in chat since Lieutenant Thumper left. Everybody having a good day? Everybody survived their Monday? Okay. Dauntless Group 9, you guys can drop it back a little bit on the pace. Okay. All right, boys, pick it up. Miyoko's turning already. Dauntless Group 9. Victor. Group 1. Victor. John Shaddix. Yo, yo. What up, what up? How you doing? Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a good day. All right. Dauntless Group 5. Break. Okay, everybody's coming in. These guys should be good. Victor. Craft two down. Good hits, good hits, good hits. Break. Everybody get your ass out of there. And group five is on target. Oh, Jesus, that was a lot of bombage. I like it. I like it. Good bombs. Good bomb, bomb, bombs. Miyoko took a lot of hits there, boys. A lot of hits. We put a lot of ordnance on that ass. And it doesn't it doesn't seem to show. <laughs> Alright, we also hit Asashio. 
Oh, Sashio's fucked up. Ha <laughs> ha! Asashio's going down. She is rolling over. C State 5? Yeah, I think she's out of the fight. That's Miyoko. How about Tenryu? Did we hit Tenryu? We did. She's burning as well. So we've lost one aircraft. That's a pisser. But, all right, Dauntless 5. Let's go ahead and break from this course. Slow down. I'm going to bring you north a little bit. I just want to keep you out of the AAA fire. And meanwhile, back at the burning ships. Oh, Miyoko's dead in the water. She's in trouble. I think she's flooding too. Look. Yeah, she's sitting low in the water. So these portholes are submerged. Oh yeah, she's burning internally. Some secondaries would be great. Come on, Sashio. Go ahead. Just die for us. That'd be swell. Hey, <laughs> Aruga. <laughs> What's happening, Alex? How you doing? David Nielsen? Haven't I defeated the Japanese yet? Yeah, I know. You couldn't resist. I know. It's 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 one of those things. I'm trying to make it interesting. I mean, enough people are complaining that basically what happens with this game is they spam these fleets at you and then you just blow them up over and over again, especially with the larger air wings on the carriers now. And then... Um, the Japanese are out of ships, so all they, all they can do then is just spam transports with a destroyer escort down the slot. Meanwhile, you've got 6,000 command points and nothing, you know, you've got the entire U.S. Navy there waiting to kill them all. So, it's a work in progress, though. I hope everyone's enjoying the show, at least. I'm not seeing any secondaries. Dude, you are so, you should be so flooded and over. Seriously. I mean, and this guy's still going 15 knots? Get out of here. That crap. Miyoko, meanwhile, let's sit like this. Maybe we'll see some secondaries go boom. Miyoko looks like she's torching pretty good. They plastered her ass. One, two, three, four, five, six bombs. Hopefully, most of those were the 1,000 pound type. Each aircraft with the Dauntless, they carry. One 1,000-pound bomb and two 100-pound bombs, one under each wing. 1,000-pounders under the fuselage. So this guy looks like he's managed to dig himself out of the hole. That's bullshit. Nope, these guys are going to survive once again. Jesus Christ. Look how split up they are. Kuma's down here like, <laughs> I'm getting away from you bitches. Y'all are bad luck. Yep, Tenryu's... Still in one piece. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Tenryu has been hit by a torpedo and bombed. But wait, did bombs even hit her? It, I thought they did. Tenryu took one direct hit. Asashio took one direct hit. That's weak. Come on, guys. Leaner, yeah. Well, they've righted Asashio somewhat. They've controlled some of the flooding or something. She was, I mean, all the way over with her port side in the water. No secondaries on any of these bombs. None. That is thoroughly disappointing. And Tenryu's intact. Son of a bitch. Heavy damage, moderate flooding, moderate damage, moderate flooding. We still haven't touched Kuma. Heavy damage, moderate flooding. Let's, okay. Well, let's go ahead and get Dauntless. You guys are heading back. And Wildcats, y'all can, y'all need to stay over this group. 
I needed to get that damn Asashio out of play. These guys are still coming in. And we're going to turn them around. Send them back out. Okay, Enterprise is ready to launch again. We ain't got much, but we're going to throw everything we got at them. Because we've got to. That's all we can do. Oh, wait. This isn't the group that originally engaged that other group. These guys engaged this group. No, wait a minute. No, they didn't engage this group. Mm. I think they may have cut the engagement uh, cool down to half an hour. <clears throat> Come on, Enterprise. I need you ready to launch before this fighter gets in. Helen is ready to launch. Okay, that Kingfisher's heading back. This one's heading out. Okay. These guys are going to be the problem. We can, I think, you know, one more good strike, I think we can finish these guys off. Or at least Trout and Triton can get in there and do some damage. Task Force 61 is moving up to block. That's going to be my first real ship, my first ship-to-ship -ship combat. I'm trying to avoid it. Because I'd rather use air power and just bomb the shit out of people. Because why not? Damn it. Okay, wait. Okay, Tuna. Where's USS Tuna? Trout, Triton, Gar, Tuna's over here. Ah, swell. Um, we're going to ignore it. No, we, no, it's okay. We can begin this. It's no big deal. Yep. Okay. It's a Jake from State Farm, I'm sure. Yep. Nothing else on scope. Make your depth 60 feet. Yeah, that, that luck of the light cruisers. Now, what I'm hearing is if you have a Kingfisher encounter a Jake, the Kingfisher does have a gunner on board, and he'll, he'll shoot him down. All right, decks awash, and we outie. Jesus age. All right, that's not important. This is important. Okay, Avenger one, Avenger two, standard deal. Drop to five hundred feet. Full power. Form up. Start. Take it down. Tally ho. Target submarine. Left side. Or right side. Okay. We will get her down on the deck. We're at 11,000 yards. That's good. And go. Guys, did you miss the memo? I said, get your ass down on the deck. All right, here we go. A little loopy loop. OK. 
Okay, let's zoom it in a little bit here. They're just cruising along. They do not see us. Take it down some more, boys. Down to 300 feet. Okay, now we're right about, there she is right there, Avenger 1, Victor, go. And just so we don't screw this up, Avenger 2, Victor. All right, let's get there, boys. We'll get into AAA. They'll start shooting at us, then we'll slow the clock down. There it goes. Now she's seen us. Sea State 6, 5. All right, boys, go get her. Punch some holes in that ass. I don't know. I think I only had heard one hit. Subs down. Did we get it? They got us. Jesus. Nope. Didn't sink that one. Back to Enterprise you go. Oh, heavy. Critical flooding. Wow. Wow. The fact that it didn't sink, though, that quickly, um, really, that's, that's surprising. They should have sunk. That Kingfisher's coming back. You return to base. Tuna, what are you, you're patrolling around. I thought, I'm not sure if you're looking for something. I'm trying to actually get you up. I don't know if there was another invasion fleet I was kind of looking for. Or... There's your patrol for the next 24 hours, though. Okay. What do we got? Event. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. Enterprise, you ready to launch? Please tell me you're ready to launch. You're ready to launch. And guess what? We're sending a full dozen Dauntlesses this time. Get your ass up there. El Quico. Punch it, boys. Shit. Okay. The Wildcat found him. That's good. This guy's fine. Well, no. This guy will be a pain in the ass. So, let's just shadow around him. Actually, I'd rather they... Because uh, those Avengers are in range now. We'll lock them up. These are the guys I'm concerned about. Because that's a full-fledged fleet and they are getting close this guy is uh return to base where are you going you return to base we'll get you back get you back okay you are going to take a minute the wildcats are going to go swing around diddle dilly dally around for a minute because i need to get the dauntlesses up here okay Try, trout may be able to get into the fray here. If I eh, probably not, but it's going to be close. Triton is also going to be able to get into the fray. All right, the Avengers are getting close. Of course, okay, point two hours. Here we go. Oh, 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 this could get real interesting. Real interesting. 
Oh, great. You got 11 nautical miles left. Swell. Well, you're close. Let's see how this goes. Let's get these bastards, shall we? I think we shall. Looky here. USS Triton is in the house. Ooh, this, am I seeing this right? Sea State, oh, Sea State 5. Where are you? Periscope depth, that's good. It's real good. That's what I like to see. Pause. All right. Triton is actually not a bazillion miles off either. She's going to have to haul ass, though, to get there. So, we got to slow these guys down. All right. The Avengers. What are we going to do with the Avengers? Oh, we got five Avengers. Okay. Um, we're going to split them up into two groups. We're going to take Avenger 4 and pair them up with Avenger 5. So you guys form up. Then we got our Wildcats, which are way down yonder. They're going to fly cap in case somebody decides to show up to the party uninvited. And you guys go ahead and climb up to about 5,000. Speed 200. And loiter, because if it comes down to it, I may have them come in and strafe the destroyer. Y'all are going to assume a racetrack pattern here kind of over Russell Island. The southern edge will be over Russell Island. Okay, that takes them. Kingfisher, you are heading the wrong direction. You kick it in the ass. You're going to take 4,500 feet as your altitude. Could I know all this air traffic control shit, right? You're going to fly a racetrack over here. Well, not a racetrack. You're just going to fly back and forth. On this side... If I see you going that way, I know you've run out of program. All right, let's get these guys identified again because God knows we can't remember from one battle to the next. Miyoko is effed up. Oh, you know what? Here, let's, um, that's the Tenryu. While we're here, that's the Kuma Matata. This is the Asashio Destroyer. And then we have the Miyoko class heavy cruiser. All right, I want the Avengers to go hit that bitch and hit it hard. Hit it like it owes you. Whoa, no. Oh, that's okay. I won't hurt anything. Avengers. Avenger Group 1. All right, let's get back. You guys are going to take it down to wave to 500 feet. Accelerate. Hey, what's going on, Alex? It's the Alex and Alex show. All right, as you guys target is the Miyoko. Avenger 4 and 5 are also going to take it down to 500 feet. Actually, 550 feet. Accelerate to attack speed. You guys are going to swing a left turn. They're making a left turn. And then we'll correct out this as necessary. Y'all are going to actually deliver a care package because the Kuma is feeling a little ronery. Go visit the Kuma. Meanwhile, the Dauntless group. 
Dauntless 11, that's the lead. You guys put the Spurs to her. We're we saying going to foo foo around with us. All right, I need you guys to make the just start your run on Miyoko almost right now. We're going to send the Dauntlesses in, then we'll send the Avengers. The Avengers will come in. Y'all are going to hit, hit Miyoko. Uh, Dauntless Group 2. You guys are going to send a care package courtesy of the United States Navy to the Tenryu. Dauntless Group 3. You guys are actually going to circle. Climb to 4,000, and I'm going to hold you back to take care of anything that's left. Whatever's left, you guys are going to have for lunch. Okay, a light breakfast then. Brunch, as it were. Okay, everybody's got their orders, and break. So Dauntless Groups 11 and 12 are in on the attack first. Is Miyoko turning? Not yet. She will probably turn into them, though. So I may adjust their course accordingly, and I think I shall. Okay, you guys going to break, turn left, keep it at a broadside, and then attack. These guys, on the other hand, are good to go. So, Dauntless Group 11, Victor, Dauntless Group 15, Victor, let's go boys, you're at the IP, hit it. Okay, good luck. Let's do this. Ride it in, boys. Good hits, good hits, good hits. Dauntless Group 15. Break. Good hits, good hits. Climb. Get out to the southeast. Go. All right, let's assess the damn. Mayoko got plastered. Tenryu got hit once. That's disappointing. All right, Avenger 4. You guys are heading in on the Kuma. I'm actually, I'm good with that. I want you guys to prosecute your attack. Avenger 1, you guys may be holding off. Let me get some BDA here. Okay, Miyoko is looking pretty ratty, as is Tenryu. Shit, these Avengers are on a bad course. Break. Break left, break left, break left. Climb, 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 and get out. Come on, boys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got to go, got to go, got to go. We're going to reset this attack. Let 
we may well get these ships separated and be able to deal with less AA. Content, just posted one today. Oh, good. Nice. Miyoko is burning heavily, as is Tenryu. Asashio is chilling. We still have four Dauntlesses and five Avengers to work with here. So I want to wait and see what happens. Because Kuma, remember last time, the last couple times Kuma has run away from the group. It looks like Asashio is turning away as well. But I think Miyoko may be done for. With the amount of damage she's already suffered. She got hit by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. five oh, she got hit by 4 and Tenryu got hit by 1. Tenryu is making 16 knots, but I'm pretty sure Miyoko is not. Alright, we're going to let them spread themselves out. Kuma's making turns for frickin' 22, as is Asasio, I think. 19. Miyoko's dead in the water, though. Again. She's down at the stern just a little bit, too. Listing the starboard. Alright, so we want to just make sure... These planes can depart the area. USS Triton. Meanwhile, aboard USS Triton... 34,000 yards from Tenryu. She's making making some speed to get there. And Tenryu is slowing down. But Miyoko is even slower. Miyoko is dead in the water. We may, may be being the operative word. Triton... So the course straight in. All right, these guys circled back. That pisses me off. Well, you know, that, yeah, it sucks. They didn't break off and run away. Tenryu is still burning. They're spreading out a little bit. Tenryu is sprinting away. Miyoko's sitting dead in the water. All right, let's get back aboard. We're back aboard the airplanes now. Guys, I want to welcome you to the channel. If you've never been here before, I'm A-Train. Hope you're having a great time. Hope you're enjoying the show. This is War on the Sea from Killerfish Games. Now available on Steam. Link in the description below. They brought you Cold Waters, which is a um, Cold War era um, submarine uh, ASW simulator with strategic and tactical level maps and stuff. We are working the uh, Solomon Islands campaign, specifically the Battle of Guadalcanal. And we have, as the United States Navy, we have carrier aircraft from USS Enterprise and Task Force 16 engaging this four-ship flotilla, which we have whittled away. We've taken one heavy cruiser and one destroyer out of the mix. It still has a heavy cruiser, the Miyoko, which you see cooking um, right here in front of us. And they have... Oh, no! Secondaries! That's what we were wanting to see. That looks like a magazine, probably for the after guns. So if they get into a gunfight with uh, Task Force 61, these guys may be SOL. I think she's sinking, though. I think she's down at the stern. Uh, heavy Cruiser Miyoko, Light Cruiser Tenryu, light, and she's still burning. Light Cruiser Kuma, which we haven't scratched the paint on yet, but that's intentional. And she and the destroyer Asashio, which we have uh, hold with a uh, bomb, a couple of bombs. Well, no, not this time. We hit her with a bomb last time. She does. She is listing the port slightly, even though she's in a right uh, turn. So you're you're kind of seeing things, but you're kind of not. She is listing. So back to Miyoko, who's now dead in the water. Sub bait. Sub bait. Yes. 
Anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure to say hi in chat. To, uh, send, put in your uh, local airport code. We do that on the channel. We do a lot of Tower 3D Pro and airport related stuff. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I have hundreds and hundreds and hun oh, oh, I think there's over a thousand hours of video available now on my channel of uh, this game of uh, city builders, air traffic control stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoy what you see and we'll uh, be back. Like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon just so you know when we upload a video or go live again. All right, the Dauntlesses have, wait, which ones? Okay, nope, 19, that's good. See, we still have the Wildcats over here, too. Let's take a quick uh, check on them, see how they're doing on their, oh, yeah, they, they still got plenty of laps to run. Okay, Tenryu has now isolated herself, which means, I think, we're, where are, okay, Avenger 1, where are you guys heading? You guys are heading into La La Land. Y'all need to navigate back down this way and then assume a pattern over here-ish. And there's no Rush, even though Rush is my favorite band. Okay. So take it down about 160, yeah, 160 knots. That's good. Okay. And we'll put you in even, let's put you up to 2,000 feet. You guys will get a little better fuel, fuel economy up there. And y'all just chill. Now, Avenger 4, we have a job. Break. Descend. Take it down to about 500. You can, you can drop drop speed. Yeah, that's good. And you guys head east. I say you guys head east. You guys are going after Tenryu. Yay, Miyoko sinking. Hooray and huzzah. Let's go check on the excitement. Yep. Oh, she hasn't gone down. She's about to, though. All right, there's a heavy cruiser heading to the bottom. She's sinking at the stern. Now, if you guys want to see something cool, you haven't seen this yet on the uh, on the channel. We're going to kick to the underwater view. Yeah, not good. Oh, there was another secondary. Oh, yeah, she's cooking. That is a uh, nice little cookout we're having here, a little Benihana action on the grill. You see the air bubbles escaping. Yikes. Oh, she's under now. Last thing is going to be the uh, rising sun. Goodbye to you. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Oh, she's going to roll over too. Oh, that sucks. That's going to make it even harder for guys trying to get out. To get out, you're dead. Ooh, she's going down fast now, assuming a stern down attitude and is going to go blunk, kerplunk, kerplooey. All right. Oh, meanwhile, off in the horizon, Tenryu is still burning internally. So our next uh, little bit of... What happened? Oh, those Dauntless has left the engagement area. Shoo! Damn. Okay, <laughs> I thought they got shot down. So what the shit happened? Okay, what we want is Avenger 4. Dun, 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 dun. Dramatic music intensifies. All right, you guys are going to actually break off. You're going to maintain this course. And we're going to run you down a little bit further. 
this away and then maybe cut this away and then cut direct in on the attack. Dun, 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 dun. Then we got three Avengers, four Dauntlesses, and four Wildcats to deal with these guys. Oh, haha. <laughs> and USS Triton. Which, our, our primary target is going to be the Asasio. The reason being, a lot of the Japanese subs, the draft is too shallow for you to hit with torpedoes. All right. We're at the IP. IP, UP, WP, whoopee. Wait, Avenger 4 is not supposed to be attacking Miyoko. There you go. Alright, boys. Let's make this count. We have them climb out afterwards. So we're doing all these torpedoes. Oh, shit, I think I dropped them too soon. Nope, we're going to get one hit. We got one good one. Just please explode. Please don't let me down. <clears throat> Midships, stern. Midships will do. All right. Good hit. See, that slows her down. Oh, yeah. That did the trick. <laughs> yep, you're slowing down now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you flooding? I think you are flooding. You have flood going on. Oh, yeah, she's down at the bows. Yeah, you better slow down a little more than that because you're about to be plowing the water. Oopsie. Did I do that? Please have some secondary explosions. Oh yeah, the deck's washing over here. Oh, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Please flood and drown. Please die. It's about time for you to die. I know it hurts to say goodbye, but it's time for you to die. Going 10 knots. Bow down. Sea state 5. With the frickin' hole in her side. Multiple bomb hits. Die, bitch. Die. Mother. Die. Mother. Die. Nope. Nope. They frickin' fixed it. Are you kidding me right here? Okay, Dauntless Group, you guys job now, we're going to switch back to you, we'll get a notification if this bitch goes down, which I don't think she is, Dauntless Group, you're at 4,000 feet, you're going to drop it down to th about 32, that'll do, and kick it in the ass, and you're going to come east, you're going after the Asashio.
And we're going to save these last two Avengers for whatever. If we need to finish the Tenryu or whatever. Mind you, Triton is closing the distance. Let's check on her for a moment. Triton, you are going to target the Kuma. 31,000 yards. Could we? 30,000 yards. Yeah, Tenryu's back up to 13 knots, which is ridiculous. Now, Kuma's hauling ass, but Kuma's kind of not sure what to do. So here's what we're going to do. Stop that. Target the Kuma and start building a solution. The three torpedoes with a one the two degree spread. We're going to get in close though. Kuma, I don't think Kuma's a threat. Damn it. Asashio's turned. That said, we may just come in from the starboard side instead of the port side. So let's just do this. You guys give her a chance to turn. And I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, and I'll be right back. Ah, shoot. I better pause this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got I to gotta take a whizzo real quick. I'll be right back. Stick around. Alright, stand by. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go get these guys. Alright. Sashio is coming around. Real quick, let's take a gander at Tenryu. Making 13 knots. They've solved some of the flooding. They've gotten her bow up out of the water a little bit. So, alright, that's okay. All right, boys, kick it.
Yeah, there, boys. Climb, climb, climb. All right, three hits with the bombs. That's good. That's real good. Oh, yeah. I think we might get her this time. Might just get her. And then what I think we're going to do is send the um, remaining two Avengers after Tenryu. She's dead in the water. She's going to sink. She's sinking. Goodbye. Just die. Just die. Just die. Judas H. Priest. Private po oh, she got hit by a dud bomb. All right, you know what? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Wildcats. <laughs> Come here. I got a job for you, boys. Take your ass down about a thousand feet. Accelerate to attack speed. No, not that. This. 260 is good. Set a course this way and this way, and then you're going to be going that way. Go. We got lots of wildcats. Yeah, I mean, I would do it. I would do it simultaneously, but I, I've done them simultaneously, and they've been effective simultaneously. But that was when I had the bigger, you know, when you had more of the air wing available. But um, also, you know, if like I called off the Avengers because Miyoko sank because of the bomb hits, right? So you retask. There's no point in putting additional, you know, ordnance on the target that's you've destroyed. I think a broadside attack is going to be good for strafing. You know what? Maybe not. Let's do this. Let's take... Let's go ahead and cut them right here. Our Kingfisher's keeping track of things. Now the Kuma is on a collision course with Triton, which is terrific. I just love to get sub hits in here. All right, boys, pick it up. Let's break. I'm going to swing a little further this way to go this way to go this way to go that way. Close. This way to go th this way to go uh, that way. Beauty. That'll do, pig. All right. What I think we're going to do here now is take these guys. Put them in line ahead formation. We're going after this Asashio. And the Kuma is there steaming directly in the direction, uh, directly towards Triton. These Avengers we're going to send after Tenryu after we conduct this attack. Actually, you know what? We can do that now. Break you guys. Head for the deck. You turn this way, this way, and then that way. All right. Meanwhile, back on board the Wildcats. Dun, dun. Oh, shit. It looks like they just put the fires out, too. Dun 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 dun
Yeah, I don't think they like that too much. All right, Wildcats, form up. Cut your speed just a little bit so they can, everybody can get caught up. Now that they're out of machine gun speed. Okay. Make the turn. Make the turn north. Make the turn northeast. Make the turn southeast. Sprint. And attack again. We get everybody back up, caught up here. Meanwhile, aboard Triton, 22,000 yards in closing. Okay, we are going to adjust course. Take us just a little bit south. And up. All right, back to the air action. All right, these guys are back down the 300, 400 feet. Avengers. Target Tenryu. Okay, it looks, uh, looks pretty sporty from here. Maybe take it a little more direct in like this. Yep, I think we're good there. Victor. Meanwhile, the Wildcats are on approach into the Asashio. Vector, plow that ass, plow it, come on ride the train, or ride it, woo woo, why are you guys, no, 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 oh, that's what, screw it, they're, in, they're, they're lining up ahead, <clears throat> the Avengers are making their torpedo drops, Oh, that's a beauty right there, boys. That's a beauty, eh? Let's go check on the Avengers. Oh, I just heard a boom. Tenryu got hit by a torpedo. Okay, the Avengers did their part. We're going to get them out of here. Nice job. At least one torpedo hit and worked. Did the others miss? Yep, they did. And once again, she's a wash at the bow. Yes, there we go. Nice job, boys. Head for home. You can get an extra cup of coffee today. Now, Kuma is going to probably start shooting at my... Let's see, where are we looking off the right wing... Kuma is right there. Okay, so we're going to set up a different search pattern here for the Kingfisher. He's going to kind of come this way a little bit more. And kind of work this way and this way and this way and this way. Meanwhile, with the Wildcats... Yep, we're going to make another run at this bitch. 
There goes the Tenryu. There's a light cruiser down. And then we're going to prosecute the sub attack because Kuma is heading right there. Okay, so this is closing at 40 knots. No, at, uh, excuse me, 35 knots. They're heading at 26. He's heading at 9. Yep, that looks good to me. Wildcat. Target is Sashio. Yeah, all out of friends. She's on fire again because we had a we caused an explosion with that hit. I do not know why she hasn't sunk yet. It's kind of redonkulous. But we're going after her again. I I shit, they got the fires out. The flooding, it's she's clearly flooded. I mean, seriously, it's a destroyer, guys. How long can you tread water? I mean your buddies from Yoko ought to be right here because you're gonna go down practically over top of her. All right. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Bum 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 bum. I have the game sound. Wait, what? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You're just now telling me this? Crap, guys. I need to know this stuff in advance. There's no reason why it should be silenced. Um, crap. Okay, uh, audio, WOTS audio. Let me check the properties of it. It's default. Okay, here's the problem. Here, this will fix it. But um, I, I had a stupid Windows reset. And it screwed everything up. So let me turn this back down because I don't know what level this was at. All right, now you should should being the operative word hear the game audio can you guys hear it now you know we've only been streaming for two hours and somebody just now brings up the fact that y'all can't hear the game <laughs> thanks that helps brother out all i did was check to make sure my microphone was coming through can y'all hear it now Anyone? Class? Bueller? Can you guys hear the game? Can you hear me? Shit, we just lost a wild a wild cat. Alright. Splat. Sorry. This guy's been hit. You know what? Roll out there. Oh no, 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 no. Form up. for another attack here. Bring the speed down so everybody catches up. Shit.
know all three of them have been shot up. All right, let's do this. Let's actually slow them down a little bit here. And let's go back on board Triton. Down to 11,000 yards here. We're not going to make it to that point to turn on the attack. So we're going to do that right there. What is our solution on the Kuma? Is it 84%? It's looking pretty sporty. Okay. Back on the Wildcats. We're making another run. It's very simple. This bitch can sink. Dan Walsh. Hey, welcome aboard. How are you? I would not be surprised if we've taken out the Asashio's rudder. They have not changed course in some time. Since that, we uh, made that first strafing attack and had that secondary, or that explosion. It was overpowering. Over the competition, I'm towering. Do it. Do it. Do it. They really should have shredded the machine gun crews on the deck by now, too. two down. Alright, we're going to get these guys out of here. <sighs> okay. We tried. And great, this asshole's circling back above them. That's terrific. That's genius. Throw him one more, you know, naughty look out the window. Oh, Christ, where is he going? God damn it. Dude. Go that way, stupid ass. That's terrific. He didn't form back up. They're supposed to form up. All right, now. Bum, bum. Bum 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 bum. Doo, 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 doo. Seven thousand yards. We're within torpedo range. Okay, Triton. Here's what we're gonna do. Break. I'll take manual control. Right full rudder. Actually, no. Make this a nice smooth. C state five. They should not detect us. There she is. Right full rudder. Come to bearing two, four, three, zero, zero.
She's a bearing 274. I'm going to close the distance here. Torpedoes are run at 30 knots, 33 knots, I think. They're not terribly fast. Okay, we're going to come right to 310. Nice easy turn. Keep the speed up. Heading 310, speed 9 knots, still at 30 feet. Yeah, we'll go back looking for the Asashio in a bit. Jesus, I don't know what else we have to do. That's being, you know, semi brown, brown 30,000 over IH. Nice. Well, hey, thanks for tuning in aboard the airplane. Tell other people, hey, you guys want to watch some fun? <laughs> Sashio, okay. That's going to take a minute. Let's see if we can get a quick look at her condition. I do not know why that ship is still afloat. It's taken multiple bomb hits, been strafed. Secondary explosions. Maybe it's the depth charges astern we hit. Five thousand yards and closing. One degree spread on the torpedoes. We have a 99% solution. If she does not change course, God willing and the river don't rise. Get to 4,000 yards, I think we're gonna shoot. Stand by, firing tubes one through four. Fire tubes one through four. Torpedoes running. Let's just do a quick check on Kuma class. No sonar, no radar, no depth charges. And if it was a Nagara, same thing. Reload tubes one through four, stand by. Holy crap, they really head in that direction? Come right full rudder. Well, they're on course to intercept. Damn, I didn't think it would be that much of an angle. I thought, well, 
they got a long distance to cover. Shoot. I didn't I put them on a pretty narrow spread. Okay. We're down to 3,400 yards. Still heading 049 at 26 knots. Distance is still closing. I'm tempted to fire these other two, but I think I'm going to hold on to them because we've got another you know, force to have to deal with. Just keep sailing on that course and speed. So you're over Houston heading back home to Sky Harbor. Where were you? There's the torpedoes. All my OBS settings got audio settings got dicked up with the stupid Windows redo. <clears throat> I think 049, 26 knots. Now the, the range is starting to open up a little bit. We've gotten as close as we're going to get. Yeah, these two torps are starting to fan out just a little bit more. Still constant. Heading 049 at 26 knots. Mm-hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Maintaining course and speed. Okay, torpedoes, it's up to you now. You are on course. On target. 26 knots. Whoa, boy. There's a 7 knot closure rate. Some of these may pass after her. Oh, the first one's going to miss. Second one's going to miss. Third one, oh, Jesus Christ, all four of them may miss. Son of a fucking bitch. I screwed that up. God damn it. Sailed right by him. Sailed right... I didn't take into account that closure rate. It sucks. Fuck me. All right, back to Asashio. We got another sub in the area to intercept. She's not burning, she's just listing severely to port and only making four knots. All right, that's enough of that crap. Gosh damn it. Oh, great. Five minutes to retreat. Well, we got a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser. <clears throat> Critical damage and heavy flooding to the Asashio, and the Kuma is still in one piece. 
We lost two airplanes, which is not bad. Concern, I mean, there's been a price to pay for this deal as a whole. We got all our Avengers back. That's good. Wildcat, you must will return. Trout and Triton. Gosh. Okay. Triton, you come south. Maybe she can pick up the Kuma. They're inbound. Where's Hornet? Still over a day away. Yep, still a day away. Well, I mean, probably start getting fly dops in at that point. But that would be the middle of the night, so it won't be till tomorrow. Boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be sticky. I'm not terribly fussed about one one light cruiser. Task Force 61 should have no problem with that. Um. Oh, nice. It's kind of lagging behind me. Okay. That's kind of funny. So you were at Mickey's corporate office, so you were KMCO, which is an airport I have, and you're heading home to Sky Harbor, which is an airport I have. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Enterprise, she's sailing. Okay, we're going to adjust their course and have them sail northeast. I want to get the aircraft back on board and turned around as quickly as possible. Okay, this is... You guys actually are going to turn back this way. Because if you have to engage that destroyer, then you have to engage that destroyer. Get it done. Okay, we got a float plane over Trout. Enterprise. Um, give me eight Wildcats up and get them over there now. We're getting close to engagement range. Um, this should take Trout out of... Yeah, no surface contacts. I'd like to think them seeing a U.S. submarine in the area would tell them they need to maybe not hang around. Okay. Which puts Triton in the area. Okay, let's get these birds back aboard. Jesus Christ, you guys... Uh, Okay, they formed back up. Light cruiser destroyer Triton has encountered them. Okay, she's. A, where are they? Okay, pause. All right, let's see where they are, where they're heading. This is the. Kuma. You gotta go through this um, process of identification because that helps your solution. And Asashio.
Okay, Triton is in a pretty good position here, 5,000 yards. Um, we can fire the stern torpedoes. Let's work up a solution. Actually, let's have Triton come right, heading 180. Kuma steaming away from the Sashio. That's good. It's real good. I'll tell you what, we're going to come right and we're going to carry this turn through to 200. Now this. see here that'll do well I want be precise boys come on 180 is 180 that'll do all right we're at 99% solution It's only going to be about 2,000 yards. We're going to speed this up. Oh, yeah, she's pulling way ahead. So Asashio is not going to be a threat at all. We'll be able to unass the area and Didi Mao. Fire all four aft tubes. Oops. Aft tubes away. Right, go ahead and start the reloading process. Stand by. I'm going to take us down to 40 feet. I know we lose radar, but... Damn it. Ah, well, I can see you. So we'll just do this visually. I just don't want the damn... Okay, here's the torpedoes over here. These are coming in a little more broadside. I didn't want them to have to catch her from behind again because you only got about a, well in this case you'd have an 11 knot closure rate. I'm gonna turn around for bow torpedoes. If two of these work, that would be great. Three should sink her. Two should do it. 
three, I think most definitely would sink her. But that's going to be the key is getting them all to hit. We're full left rudder. Come on. Bring the nose around. Let's go. Burr. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. I'm A-Train. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, say hi in the chat. Check in with your local airport code. That's what we do around here. Heading 103104. Okay, so she's maintaining course and speed. These are looking bueno. Like taco bueno. Bueno. Yeah, I think these are going to all four be in the ballpark. Yep, this is looking pretty sporty. One hit, two dud, three hit, four hit. There we go. That should do it. Very nice. Bring us up to periscope depth. Stand by to raise the radar mast. See what the Asashio is doing. Asashio shouldn't be doing a whole lot because her ass is kicked. So we are going to start working on a solution on the Asashio. And Kuma's going down. Oh, secondaries. How pretty. We are going to take the boat down to 100 feet, so 160, come left heading, Take it down to 200 feet. We're going to go to the onboard view, and here's why. Because right now we're cavitating. That'll stop the cavitating. Take it down to 250 feet. We'll pick up speed as we come around to a northerly heading here. Is there a layer? There is no layer. Sucks. Doesn't work in our advantage. How are we doing on the reload? Got one tube reloaded. Right, we're going to go ahead and hold up on that. Pick up some more speed here. So the deeper we get, the more we can... Um, more speed we can run without cavitating. Center your rudder. We're 200 feet. Five knots. Can we go six? We can go six. Okay, there's the Asashio. I don't know if she's looking for a fight. She sure ain't moving fast. Nope. Ah, not at all. So we're going to set up for a torpedo strike on her as well. You know it would be great? <laughs> Oh, no, her guns would be able to, um, would in theory be able to elevate. It's like we could pop up and, you know, make a gun run. <laughs> Let's see if we can plug her with a torpedo or two, and then we can erase this group from our collective memories and 
So if they're only making two knots, well, wait, let's let's just let's make the speed run. And we'll because we want to come in from the other side. How are we looking if we go seven knots? Good. High seven. High seven's good. About eight. Nope. Cavitation. So we just gotta be patient. We are closing the distance. Since she's able to not move very quick, we're going to release the ship from ultra quiet and go back to reloading. They're just going to have to sit there and listen to us closing on them. All right. Five more minutes on this heading. She wouldn't, probably wouldn't be able to hear us in the wreckage because the Kuma is right here anyway. You'd have popping noises and all that crap from the ship going under. Bulkheads, you know, collapsing and all that crap. 1027. There she is. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hard left rudder. bringing us up. Hey, this looks sporty, boys. Let me just take ourselves up to periscope depth. And just go real quiet like. We're 2,800 yards and closing. fire two torpedoes one degree spread fire so I'm heading 170 and this is gonna be a big question is Oh, she's got her active sonar up. So let's go ahead and go silent running. See, the funny thing would be if I came around to this side, I don't know if her guns could depress low enough to shoot us. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> Speed and heading are constant. Torpedoes are closing. All right, I need I just need one of you two to work. Just one. Be great if both did. But I think one will do. Open her up to the catch of the day. I think her bow is just skirting into range here, but her bow, she's kind of down by the stern, so the one the, the one's heading for her bow may not hit her. We'll see. We may get lucky. If both of them pass under her, that's going to suck. Tud! Really? 
Oh my freaking god! Oh Jesus! Mark fourteen tor, Mark fourteen torpedoes are bullshit. God, I can't believe that. Our poor sub commanders, man. What do you do? Yes, yeah, so, still got the solution. Fire two more. Try it again. <laughs> That's uh, Mark 14 torpedoes were known to work between 33 and 50 percent of the time. That's unbelievable. Two of them smacked us. Of course, three of them hit the Kuma and exploded. So we were 75 percent on the Kuma. So six torpedoes launched so far, and we are 50 percent. Here they come, right here. <laughs> you imagine being on board that ship? I don't even know if they know we're here. I mean, they know Kuma just blew up. They got no steerage. They're only doing two knots. They're they're mostly dead. And they just heard the thud of two, not one, but two torpedoes smacking into their hull. God, that would suck. Can you imagine? You're sitting there trying to patch up holes and trying to just praying that somebody's going to come along to save you. You know, just over the horizon, there's a five ship force coming to join the party. Of course, you also know that somewhere over the horizon, there's USS Enterprise. We won't watch from this angle, or we won't watch. So, we do know they hit. So, this is a good thing. So, they should not pass underneath her. These two are looking sporty as well. Oh, jeez, it's like a freaking training exercise. We have two more in the tubes if we need. And we should get about 10 seconds. That's ridiculous. Wasted freaking... Here we go. Jesus. There we go. Hooray. <laughs> we got her. <laughs> All right. Release from uh, silent running. And we'll just uh, we'll watch this. She's already half sunk. Now you guys can hear it. Oh, she's on fire up on deck, too. I just wish they'd have a big old hole where, you know, sheet me you know, metal and armor, all that stuff just torn up. Try and fire Big Ten torpedoes. <laughs> uh, you're getting to go to join the crew at Iron Bottom. Well, I don't know if this is technically Iron Bottom sound. We're, we're northwest of Savo Island. Let's do a uh, screenshot, shall we? Everyone smile. Wave your hands and say, Hooray, U.S. Navy. Let's do one from this angle. And let's do one from this angle. Cool. Pictures to send home to Mom. Hey, Mom, look what we did. <laughs> it only took six frickin' torpedoes. Wait, no. It took four torpedoes. Three of the four didn't explode. Maybe you should call the Bureau of Ordnance, the Navy Department. Tell them to find us some torpedoes that actually work. That was the frustration the U.S. Uh, submarine commanders had. Fire off another screenshot here. Cool. See the depth charge racks. 
curious what this little deal running along here is. She done rolled over. Is she gonna turn turtle or just half ass? No, well, she's coming back upright. Oh, the bow's coming back above the water one more time. No, not quite. She gonna broach the surface. One more defiant moment before sliding to the bottom. She's trying. Nope. Going down stern first. How long can you tread water? All right. Cool. All right. That takes care of the dispatching of that group. Hooray and huzzah. Okay. So we launched eight torpedoes, seven, no, four of which worked. But we put the Kuma and the Asashio down, which finishes off that group. And now puts us to where we can face these guys by themselves. Sweet. Uh, now, Enterprise has everyone back aboard. Enterprise is ready to launch aircraft. Are you guys up for one more attack mission? I'm just wanting to confirm on my schedule thingy. Oh, shit. No, they gave me a fourth. No, it says four. Why do I have four? Where's the fourth job? Oh, Jesus. What did you all do? I'm just checking my schedule for tomorrow morning. Let me check the stupid dispatch track because it's going to piss me off. Of all. I hate using this system because I, I have a portal I have to I can check. And that's through an internet. But then I have dispatch track, which I have to log into. Oh, whatever. Stupid. Because they had me down for three jobs tomorrow, starting at like noon 30. So now I need to look and see if they've done something and dicked with my stuff, because I may have to bail. No, three jobs. Now this says 11.30. Am I missing something here? Why does one say, oh, that says noon. Oh, they totally have this dicked up. That's shocking. Okay, so there's three names there, and the one of them doesn't match this one, which is a service call at 1130. Okay, so give me a second here, guys. I know this is real. These are roller shades. Okay. Room not ready for install. Why are we going out there? Take down the old treatment and put in new treatment. Okay. All right. I will uh, figure that crap out. So. So I have to upload. And what it'll do is it'll say so-and-so logged into the system at thus and such time. All right. Uh, Enterprise. Now we have eight wildcats heading this direction now. So now we can send up the strike aircraft. So we need to put all the Dauntlesses up first. And in about the time, come on, Enterprise crew, get them up. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Okay, hang on. Dauntlesses, I want to have you guys sweep this way. Hopefully come in from this direction. 
Wildcats, I do not want you getting that close yet. You guys back off just a little bit. We need the word the Enterprise ready to launch. Shit. Is the Enterprise ready to launch? Come on, guys. All right, now we got seven Avengers on board. It takes six of them. Okay, there we go. Okay, these guys can cut their course in now. Oh, Jesus. Seriously? Um... Okay, we are going to address this simply because in an area that they could vector aircraft onto us. Unfortunately, I may have just screwed up the diving instructions and delayed this even longer. Dive. Come on, guys. Go. Thank you. All right, let's I'll take her half an hour to get in there. Let's do this. Let's get busy. Our primary targets for the torpedo planes are going to be the heavy cruisers for the dive bombers, the destroyers. Oh, Triton is in the house. Fire up your radar, please, sir. She's right at the edge of the engagement area. Okay, we got problems. <laughs> we are right on top of these guys. Okay, they're in a circular formation. This is something new. Typically they're in a line, a double line formation. Target one. That would be a destroyer. Let's get it uh, classified to go this way. This is interesting indeed. Okay. Um, Not a Momi, this is a Hatsuharu. No, it's not Kats is it really? No, it's not Akatsuki. It's not Hatsuharu. Wait, well, it is a Hatsuharu. No, it's not. Damn it, it's another Asashio. Shoot. Okay. Those burn nicely. See if the trailer's the other destroyer. Nope. That's a heavy cruiser. It's a Mogami. No, it's a Miyoko. A light cruiser. So the other destroyer is right here on the, this wing. And that is another Asashio. Okay. Then we got our light cruiser over here. Looks like a, another um, 
Nagara class. Nope, it's not Tenryu. All right, so the Kumas, we sank the Kuma and we sank the Tama, which means we must have sank a Nagara class in the last engagement. Yep, we sank the Nagara. I don't think we had sunk her yet. So that's a Nagara class, we'll call it. And then we'll look here. It's a Miyoko. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes. Call it Miyoko. And another Miyoko. We just sank the Miyoko. So this is two of the other three ships. So, all right. So this is going to be a bit interesting. With the light, with this one in the middle, <clears throat> it's going to be a little difficult to get the Avengers in for the uh, attack. So, let's switch um, Triton. Let's get Triton in position to target the Nagara. 41,000 yards, you're not going to get a solution. I mean, you're going to get a solution, but we're not going to get a torpedo run in. Um, so this is going to be all aircraft. All aircraft all the time. Whoa, what the shit? Where's our dive bombers? Son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we're going to have to figure out uh, the torpedo attack then. That being the case, we do know we can hit uh, Asasio with torpedoes. Their draft is deep enough. They will hit. Not saying they'll explode, but they'll hit. All right, so we need the Wildcats to stay the hell out of the fray. We do have a Kingfisher to provide support. So you guys are just going to maneuver down here and fly circles. If you head over Russell Island, then I know you've run out of orders, but in the meantime, climb up to 5,000 feet. No, 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 damn it. Shit, hit the wrong key. slow you down about 160 knots. That'll do. Alright, same thing with this Wildcat group. Take you guys up to 5,200 feet. 165 knots. Fly down here and assume a racetrack pattern. Okay, Triton's got her orders to come around, so hopefully she'll stay in the engagement area. We can just keep the radar coverage. Nah, she's probably too far for radar. I don't know. Um, Kingfisher, you're going to climb 4,500 feet. Accelerate to 125 knots and fly more or less the course you're on. It's 
see you heading that direction, I'll know. Okay, that leaves our six Avengers. Hmm. You guys, you got a job to do. That's just all there is to it. And that job is to Send a send a three hundred feet. That's going to be the best course here. Let's do this. And then head in on the attack. And Avenger 5 and 6, you guys are going to... Boy, it would be great to get at least one of the Asashios out of the way. the uh, I really want the Miyoko's out so we're just going to do as much damage as we can with these aircraft and then uh, bring in the squadron of uh, dive bombers and then see what we can do all right boys you have your orders let's go let's do it Triton is leaving the engagement area. Okay. And yeah, she's whatever. Okay. We got a whole bunch of ships there. We need a whole bunch of torpedoes and just plow their asses because they're in a tight formation. You miss the bow of the Asashio, it's going to hit the Miyoko. You miss the Miyoko, it's probably going to hit Nagara. So, <clears throat> Avengers 5 and 6, you guys are going to target this Asashio. Avengers 1 through 4. You guys are going to target the Miyoko. They're on the attack. Let's go, boys. Good luck.
out of there. Torpedo, oh, two duds, one good. Shit, Is that it? Really, that's, that's the best we can fucking do. It's the best we can do. Isacio's dodged. Fuck. They managed, two went underneath her. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Lost an airplane, all we did was hit her with one torpedo. Okay, our boys are out of there. Oh, this Miyoko's hurt. She's got fire and maybe some flooding down the nine knots. Get the fire out. Minor damage, minor, uh, moderate flooding. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Back to Enterprise, boys. What do we got? Not much. We do not have much left. Alright boys, that's going to have to be it for me tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will come back and continue this probably tomorrow. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the bell icon so you know when we go live upload a video. We're saved there. And we will come back and do this some more. Is this, this group right here, this is the trick. <coughs> Thinking about it. We're going to launch... Another scout plane out of uh, off Helena, which should be over this way, actually, working our way this direction. So, <coughs> pardon me. Um, while we've got them here, I don't know if Chicago's got any air. She does. We need to check the slot for more spam coming our way as task group yoke is trying to move in to uh, land more troops and what have you. So, all right, now I got to save again. Cool. All right, gang. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the show and uh, we'll like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, and uh, join us for the next one. You can follow us on uh, Twitter, excuse me, Twitch, A underscore train underscore games. On Discord, you can join the discussion, see my Steam library, see my library of Tower 3D Pro airports, and uh, 
more chit chat at a dash train space games and your donations are greatly appreciated at paypal.me slash a train games i hope you enjoy the hundreds of hours of videos available on the channel <clears throat> notice if you're seeing any um commercials that's all going to youtube none of it comes to me so help me get to a thousand subscribers and maybe we'll get something so appreciate you being here and hope you have a great day night evening morning wherever you are on planet earth or beyond i'm a train it's over And I'm out.